Greetings, this is Paul the Poke from paulthepoke.com. Today's topic, Israeli ground offensive has begun. We are May 13, 2021, and um, oh, the confrontation, the escalation, the missiles continue to fly. Everything seems to be increasing a little bit more. Um, And as of a few hours ago, Israel has launched ground forces into the conflict with Hamas and the Palestinians. As of this posting, ground forces have not entered the Gaza Strip, allegedly. Uh, There's all kinds of stuff, um, frankly, coming out of Israel that seems to be a little bit conflicting, and maybe that's part of the part of the plan. Issue a little confusion, create a little confusion. Well, maybe it's happening, maybe it's not, but uh, the latest is they have not entered into the Gaza Strip. Um, Israel's called up 9,000 reservists in addition to what they already have. Israeli citizens within a few miles of the border of the Gaza Strip have been ordered to their bunkers. Here's the tweet. Um from Israeli or from Israel Defense Forces, IDF air and ground troops are currently attacking in the Gaza Strip. So they put that up at 420, and then they released something a little bit later in a press release. They didn't put it out in a tweet that says that the ground forces have not gone into the Gaza Strip. So maybe they did, maybe they didn't. Not for sure what's going on there, but lots of things are exploding. I do know that. Um, So we have that on the southern front, ground forces being entered into the conflict, whether or not they are in the Gaza Strip, that remains to be seen. Uh, Of note and extreme interest are the missiles being fired toward Israel from Lebanon. Uh, This is very concerning because it raises the question, are Hezbollah and proxy Iran entering the conflict? And we're going to watch this very closely. This is a developing story. So three missiles um, were fired from Lebanon. Now, they didn't hit anything. And I've seen some reports that say, oh, they fell they fell to the, to the ground in some empty spaces in northern, northern Israel. I've also seen some things where, no, these were, they landed in the Mediterranean. No harm, no foul. Um, and after that was happened, this was according to liveviewmap.com, Israel dispatched a plane, flew over the southern border of Lebanon, and everything stopped. Kind of reminds me of a couple of weeks ago or a few weeks ago when a rocket came from about this same area from the northern border of Israel and managed its way all the way down to Demona at the nuclear facility. And Israel just kind of, eh, no big deal. Didn't make a whole lot of it. Said it was an accident. Uh, very curious, but this this is a big deal. Israel would have to be fighting a war on two fronts. Are they on the verge of fighting a war on two fronts? And if they come in from the north, I would like to think that Hezbollah and Iran being supported by Russia has way more missiles than those folks down there in the Gaza Strip. So merits watching and keep a very close eye on this. This, you know, Israel having to fight something on two fronts would be a big deal. Um, and here's the tweet from the IDF. This is at like 149, 150 this afternoon, central time. Breaking a short while ago, three rockets were fired from Lebanon into the Mediterranean Sea off the coast of northern Israel. So the IDF says they landed in the sea. You have some witnesses say that they landed in some fields in Israel. I guess it doesn't matter. Nobody was hurt. No harm was done. But the big deal is they came from from Lebanon. And we know Hezbollah and Iran, that's where they're located. Uh, Tonight, Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu issued a public statement on the conflict. The goal is to restore calm and security to the nation of Israel. 
Netanyahu's statement is made in Hebrew. You can see this uh, the English transcript below. And here's a quote, Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu tonight. We are dealing with a campaign on two fronts. The first front, Gaza. I said that we would exact a very heavy price from Hamas and the other terrorist organizations. Just to give you a little flavor how this goes. Uh, Citizens of Israel, we are dealing with a campaign on two fronts. And so you can read this in English. I won't go all the way through it, but it's like a minute and a half. So it won't take that much of your time. He gets to the point of things pretty quickly. Um, Prime Minister Netanyahu also posted, I said that we would charge a very heavy price from Hamas. We do it and we will continue to do it with great intensity. The last word was not said. And this operation will continue as long as necessary. So if you want to read an article with a lot of information, a wealth of information and many photos, check out dailymail.co.uk. Israel goes ground troops, storm Gaza, Air Force bombards targets. Click on the link. It'll take you straight to the article. Um, you know you watch all this happen. Um, it does make you wonder what we're setting the stage for. There's a lot of, um, angst with this particular thing more so than usual. And, um, we, you know, is this, you know, and at some point I'll, I'll close with Ezekiel 25 verses 15 through 17. We know this is coming. This is what the prophecy says in, in Ezekiel 25. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't think this is it. I think this is uh, takes place during the during the tribulation time of Jacob's trouble. But thus says the Lord God, because the Philistines have acted in revenge and have taken vengeance with scorn of soul to destroy with everlasting enmity. Therefore, thus says the Lord God, behold, I will stretch out my hand against the Philistines, even cut off the Cherethites and destroy the remnant of the seacoast. I will execute a great vengeance on them with wrathful rebukes and they will know that I am the Lord when I lay my vengeance on them. So, you know, is this what's getting ready to happen? I don't think so, but we do need to pay attention to it. I do think we're probably sowing some seeds, softening up some things. Not that God needs uh, the IDF to, to do that for him. Who knows? IDF may be his instrument in this particular situation. I don't know. But we do want to watch it. We'll continue to watch this. And uh, appreciate you guys following along. Please feel free to share with others. PaulThePoke.com And also you can type in your email address right here. Far right hand column. Hit subscribe. You will receive a notification every time we put something out. News flow has been pretty heavy here for the last four days. Been posting something every night. Updating what's going on with the conflict here and we'll continue to do so. Um, one thing that is interesting, I can't find it now. I was looking at it, but allegedly Egypt had offered to broker a one year ceasefire between these two. Uh, Israel said no. And they said, we're going to finish this on our terms. Essentially I'm paraphrasing. You see Netanyahu's quotes. Um, Last word was not said in this operation will continue as long as necessary. So and I know his stance in the past is, look, if we stop it now, we're going to have to deal with this six months, a year, whatever down the road. So let's just take care of it now and do what we need to do. And at some point they'll restock and Hamas will restock and rinse, repeat. We'll do it all over again, but um, we'll continue to watch it. Appreciate you guys take Uh, following along. Take care. Have a good evening. Bye.